Welcome to the John and Heidi Show podcast. John and Heidi. Here's John and Heidi. Today is a special day, Heidi. Do you know what today is? What is today, John? I thought you'd never ask. It is the weekend, so let's do the whole doggone thing. Saturday, the 9th of March, Amerigo Vespucci Day. That's who America is named after, a map maker from back in the day. False Teeth Day, Joe Franklin Day, Name Tag Day, Bang Clang Day. What? <laughs> National American Paddlefish Day, National Barbie Day, National Crab Meat Day. Way too hard to get crab meat out of those crab legs, by it the way. It really is. Like, I'm going to... I'm good. I'm just going to not eat that. Um, dishwasher Appreciation Day, Meatball Day, Panic Day, all that on Saturday. Sunday, uh, the 10th of March, Harriet Tubman Day, International Bagpipe Day, International Wig Day, Landline Telephone Day, Middle Name Pride Day. Are you proud of your middle name, Heidi? Sure. I Heidi mean, I... Marie. It is not Marie. Heidi Jean. Oh, my God. It's Heidi Lee. I'm just silly. I'm being silly. Plus, I've got a guest joining me. I have Riley Vocal from Jerry Bruckheimer's series High Town, and the series finale just wrapped up. We're going to chat with her all about that coming up. Give yourself a little credit. I've been telling you about BetterCreditCards.com for a few years now. I'd love for you to take a few minutes today to check out the website. Who knows? You might find a better credit card, one that offers a better rate, or a credit card that offers cash back, airline miles, or other points and perks that can help you. Check it out now. Give yourself a little credit. Go ahead and switch to BetterCreditCards.com. Now, surveys and studies and such brought to you by BetterCreditCards.com. Coffee experts and journalists are saying that your mug could have a big impact on the flavor of your coffee. Jordan Michelman and Zachary Carlson, authors of But First Coffee, explain that while your mug you drink out of doesn't have a major impact on the taste, there's still a subtle change in perception. I agree with that completely. They even say that a collection of personalized coffee mugs is similar to like a, a sommelier who keeps assorted glasses for different wines. Am I saying that right? Som, somme, somme. <laughs> sure. <laughs> One of those people. I agree with that, though, because I have, I have a cup. Yeah. That I prefer for my coffee. And if I drink it out of something else, it just tastes different. (laughs) Look at what I'm drinking out of. This is like a gravy shaker, I think. I'm not really sure. (laughs) It is a gravy (laughs) shaker. Coffee connoisseurs write that the flavor receptors in our tongue are fallible and easily influenced by forces beyond proof of taste. So they say there are things like music that can make your coffee taste better. So if you're listening to the right, they say it's the same with wine. Some things make your wine or your coffee taste better. So if you're picky... And you want to have a certain mug and people are picking on you, say, hey, scientifically, I'm right. So just leave me alone. Surveys and studies and such brought to you by BetterCreditCards.com. Insurance. It's important to have insurance, but it's more important to have the right insurance. After all, if you're not covered, it's like not even having insurance. Make sure you're covered for whatever claim might come your way with InsuranceChicken.com. Helping you peck out great insurance deals in your area. You need insurance on your car anyway. Why not get great rates for great insurance from InsuranceChicken.com. That's InsuranceChicken.com. Did you know? Brought to you by GenesisGoldIRA.com. Heidi, did you know that last week, I think maybe two weeks ago now, because I'm pretty sure I've had this for about a week, uh, Chinese automaker BYD showcased a floating SUV at the Geneva Car Show. Okay. It's the Yang Wang U8, a luxury plug-in hybrid capable of staying afloat in the event of an accident involving water. It's a great idea. That is a great idea. I don't know that I'm a fan of the name. Well, the uh, (laughs) SUV is currently only on sale in China through uh, BYD, and they say they're not ruling out exporting this to other markets. So when I first heard of the floating SUV, I was thinking of like a car that's a boat. And there was was a, a company that did that. They made a car that was also a boat, and it was kind of a weird looking thing. But there were people that had them and really liked them. Um, That's what I was thinking. This is a little different. The floating SUV is not designed to take in water, but if you get in the water, it would float instead of submerging and like sinking. That's that's a safety thing. That's a very good idea. We don't know everything, but now we know this. Now, big screen, little screen, brought to you by insurancechicken.com. Paramount has announced a... an official date for the remake of The Naked Gun starring Liam Neeson. Go ahead, I just cannot (laughs) handle this at all. July of next year, 2025. Still untitled Naked Gun uh, is going to be a remake 
but they're it's a different iteration, so it'll be interesting to see. And they should I don't I think they just called it something different because I think they'll probably do a great job. You will job, never be able but to But it's not going to be the same Leslie as Nielsen Leslie Nielsen. Nielsen. Yeah. Nope. And Hollywood hunk Glenn Powell made a surprise appearance on Saturday Night Live to put any dating rumors between him and anyone but you, co-star Sidney Sweeney, to rest. And I'm going to just scroll on because I don't know who any of those people are. <laughs> and Dune Part 2 rode the massive sandworm all the way to the top of the box office. So they've done quite well. I've not seen it, but I've heard good things. I've got all of these stories and more in the show notes for today at johnandheidyshow.com. What could you do with an extra $129 a month? In this economy, every penny counts. So an extra $129 each month would absolutely help. Well, 97% of us have a cell phone, and the average person pays $144 a month. Mint Mobile can help you save a mint. At just $15 a month, that's an average savings of $129 each month. It's time for a Mintervention. Switch and save today. Get this special offer at Mintervention.com. That's Mintervention.com. Now your scoop of the day comes your way, courtesy of BetterCreditCards.com. Scientists have been testing a pill on mice that counteracts the effects of alcohol. So if you know any mice that have an alcohol problem, (laughs) you might want to alert them. Um, does that seem like a weird thing to be testing on mice? Well, they got to test it somewhere. I <laughs> they guess. were just looking for an excuse to get mice drunk. That's what they were doing. <laughs> Some of these testing things, and and again, I don't mean to make light of it because maybe this is a good thing that they're doing, but I don't know. Some of it just seems a bit odd to me. Moving to the next story, the hyodol. I don't know if I'm saying that. H y o d o l. How would you say that? Hyodol. Hyodol. <laughs> okay. It might just be the strangest and creepiest product to debut at the MWC trade show in Barcelona this year. Here's what it is. The Hyodol, H-Y-O-D-O-L, Hyodol, I don't know. It's kind of like a creepy Cabbage Patch doll. It's designed as a kind of a surrogate grandchild, and uh, it's for people who are like elderly people. Oh. Powered by ChatGPT, the doll has touch-sensitive patches and buttons that you can press to elicit responses. It can prompt seniors to take their medications. It can remind them of their meal times and suggest exercise routines, but it speaks in a child's voice. Oh, yeah, that's a little South Korean company creepy. behind the Hyodol, H Y O D O L, says it can speak in several languages, and there's an app that allows somebody to set up, schedule, and review how the doll owner is getting on. It's $1,800 to buy one of these things, by the way. Mm. And the thing that is weird, it's the size of a baby. And I don't know if you guys have paid attention lately, but babies don't talk. So, (laughs) yeah. Why not just make it a teddy bear? Call it your Medi Teddy. And, you know, is that already a thing? Maybe that is a thing. I don't know. But make it a teddy. Make it something that's not a baby. It just seems creepy because it's a talking baby. I don't know. Scoop of the day comes your way, courtesy of BetterCreditCards.com. Do you owe the IRS $10,000 or more in back taxes? Are you being audited or investigated? Has the IRS sent you a letter demanding payment? You may not owe what they claim. Make this free call to the tax doctor now. Let them negotiate with the IRS on your behalf. 800-310-5831. 800-310-5831. That's 800-310-5831. Thank you for listening to the John and Heidi Show this weekend. Excited to visit with Riley Vocal. She's been in a bunch of movies and TV shows, but we're going to talk quite a bit about Jerry Bruckheimer's series, High Town. The season finale was Friday the 8th of March on Stars, and this is a show people really kind of fell in love with. Yes, we love our viewers. We love our fans. Um, three amazing seasons we've had. Even though the season finale was Friday the 8th of March on Stars, I don't want to talk about too many details because I'm sure there's some people that still haven't had a chance to see it. There are. It's um, it's pretty exciting. And for people who have not had a chance to watch Hightown, let's talk about what the program is about, and then also we can tell them where they can go if they actually would like to stream some of these episodes. Yes, well, you can watch all three seasons on the Stars app or on Stars. It's a crime drama, but it's it's not procedural. It's much more about these three dimensional characters, these flawed characters who are struggling with things like addiction and how all their lives kind of intertwine around the same crime. And Hightown has become very successful because people can relate to these characters because sometimes they know someone like that in the real world. Yes, 
I would say we um, we did our best to give an honest portrayal of, of things like addiction and the opioid epidemic, which is just kind of the backdrop of the show and, you know, recovery and things like that. And some folks listening might have somebody that's close to them that's going through this in their real life, but we all probably know somebody that has got a little bit of stuff going on like this, and this helps us kind of relate to what they're going through. Absolutely. You know, um, I think that was a little bit of the goal was to humanize these um, flawed characters um, and I think build that connection with the viewers and do our best to give honest portrayals of that, which I think creates a deeper connection. Now, in addition to this program that you've been on for three seasons, you've been in several other movies and television shows. And as you look back at your career, you're still a very young lady, but you've had a chance to do some really cool things. Are there some projects that stand out where you go, this is the one people talk to me about the most? Yes. Um, I'd say my first um, answer for that is probably the originals on the CW. The fan base is just so loyal and so amazing. It really um, was an incredible experience. And my first experience, I think, building a character over the course of many seasons. Um, another one would be The Newsroom was my first show. I was a small role, but I got to sit back and watch really the best of the best work. So it was kind of the best acting school I could have asked for. And then third, I'd say Hightown. Um, it was probably the most fulfilling character of my career so far and something I was just craving as an actor. And the thing that's really neat, once we get to know you and we see you in a show that we love, then we'll be watching something else and go, oh, wait a minute. There she is in that uh-huh. as well. And uh, there she is in The Mentalist. And there she is in The Social Network. And, you know, all of these fun projects. You've had a chance to do some really cool stuff. I really have. I've been very, very lucky. Yes. And, and what is that like for you when you're watching these movies and, you know, it's it's a project that you're going, I worked with that person. Or, hey, this is even a program that I'm in. That's got to just be kind of surreal. It is. You know, I mean, I think over the course of being in the industry for a while now, it's become, you know, um, my job job, but it's also, it never really loses that feeling of, oh, I get to do this every day. You know, yeah. it's still so special. And I, I kind of fell into the industry. So for me, the beginning of my career was, was super surreal because I had never known that that would be an option for me. I'm sure you get to play this game way better than I do, but we're re-watching The Mentalist right now. We introduced our daughter to that, and she's watching it with us. So just the other day, I Aww. saw an episode that you were on. I'm like, oh, I'm going to be talking to her in a couple of days. And my wife was like, we play that game every time we watch a movie. It's like, oh, I've talked to her. I've talked to him. I've met, you know. That's so <laughs> funny. <laughs> That's but, so great. I love like, it. But for you, it's not a quick five-minute phone call. These are people that you've worked with. So I think that's really neat. It is. It is. It's um, it's definitely a dream job, and um, I really love what I get to do. So with Hightown wrapping up right now, is it hard to say goodbye after three seasons of playing that character? Yes, it's very bittersweet. Um, I mean, I'm so excited for everyone to see the finale and have followed us along this you know, amazing three season journey. Um, but it is, it's bittersweet. It was such a dream role and a dream job that, you know, I could have really done it forever. Um, but like I said, I'm so excited for everyone to see what we've done over the last three seasons. Well, I will keep my eyes peeled for you and other fun projects as well. And I know we'll see you. Thank you so much for taking the time to chat today, Riley. Of course. Thank you so much for having me. Again, our guest has been Riley Vocal, and she was on a program called Hightown. Like I said, season three, and it was the season finale, just wrapped up on Stars. You can get all the info in the show notes for today at johnandheidyshow.com. Give yourself a little credit. I've been telling you about BetterCreditCards.com for a few years now. I'd love for you to take a few minutes today to check out the website. Who knows? You might find a better credit card, one that offers a better rate, or a credit card that offers cash back, airline miles, or other points and perks that can help you. Check it out now. Give yourself a little credit. Go ahead and switch to BetterCreditCards.com. Fun fact for you, Heidi. What's that, John? The longest train ever was 7.35 kilometers long. That's 4.57 miles long. That's a long train. Wow. I feel how, as though... Imagine having to wait for that. I was going to say, I feel as though I've waited for that train a few times. <laughs> <laughs> there have been times I've pulled up at a train. I'm like, how long is this thing? I can't believe it's still going. Exactly. It just keeps going. Fun fact for you, Heidi. What's that, John? People see better when they're scared. Oh, wow. That's kind of cool. I suppose because your pupils... Yeah. Yeah. All of a sudden, you're you know paying more attention. Uh, fun fact for you, Heidi. What's that, John? Putting, uh, pu- <laughs> putting sugar on a cut will make it heal faster. Really? Yeah. That's kind of yeah. cool. 
Uh, fun fact for you, Heidi. What's that, John? A dolphin's blowhole is an evolved nose that moved upward to the top of its head. It's just fun to say blowhole. <laughs> okay. And our final fun fact for you, Heidi. What's that, John? It takes seven to 21 days to make a jelly bean. That's a big difference. That's three times as much for some jelly beans. So several fun facts. Now, you know, thanks for listening to The John and Heidi Show. Insurance. It's important to have insurance, but it's more important to have the right insurance. After all, if you're not covered, it's like not even having insurance. Make sure you're covered for whatever claim might come your way with insurancechicken.com. Helping you peck out great insurance deals in your area. You need insurance on your car anyway. Why not get great rates for great insurance from insurancechicken.com. That's insurancechicken.com. Time now for the Mint Mobile question of the day. It comes your way courtesy of Mintervention.com. Question for you, Heidi. 34% of people who fail their driving test fail for this reason. What is it? I could see this. Why would they fail? Uh, when, when they're actually driving yeah. or the actual paper yeah. test? Driving. Uh, parallel parking. No, they were nervous. So they're so mm. nervous. They just, yeah, I got flustered and smashed into that semi. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry about that. Let's circle the block and start out. <laughs> Mint Mobile, like that didn't question happen. of the day, comes your way, courtesy of Mintervention.com. What could you do with an extra $129 a month? In this economy, every penny counts. So an extra $129 each month would absolutely help. Well, 97% of us have a cell phone, and the average person pays $144 a month. Mint Mobile can help you save a mint. At just $15 a month, that's an average savings of $129 each month. It's time for a Mintervention. Switch and save today. Get this special offer at Mintervention.com. That's Mintervention.com. Now, some weird news brought to you by WeirdGiftOfTheDay.com. The new Wilson Airless Gen 1 basketball is now available. You heard that right. An airless basketball. How does that work? It's the first commercial version of Wilson's airless basketball that doesn't need to be inflated because, I don't know if you heard this, it's airless. It's airless. And it's full (laughs) of holes. It'll cost you $2,500. Yeah, it's it's a whole lot. There's no inflated bladder inside to help the ball bounce. Instead, it's shape. And material allows it to bounce like any other ball, minus the air. Wilson worked on the airless prototype for years before showing it off at the 2023 NBA All-Star Weekend. So prices notwithstanding, the ball, which features a lattice pattern of hundreds of hexagonal holes, huh. is expected to sell out almost immediately. Did I mention it's $2,500? I wonder if that's going to take off though for like... If they get the price down, competition and yeah. stuff, I don't know. I would say if they get the price down, yeah. But twenty five hundred dollars for a ball, probably I'll get this one for eight bucks. I'm good. Weird news brought to you by WeirdGiftOfTheDay.com. Time now for the list brought to you by BetterCreditCards.com. The cheapest cities to move to. This was sent to me by like nine people. Where do you guys want me to go? What's going on here? <laughs> Just kidding. It wasn't really. Uh, where do you think is the cheapest place to move, Heidi? Do you have uh, anything in mind? Gosh, I have no okay, idea. Okay, then think about the most expensive because I have that on the list as well. Okay. So number 10, Birmingham, England is cheap to go to. Barcelona, Spain. Lisbon, Portugal. We know some people who move there actually. Istanbul, Turkey. Glasgow, Scotland. Number five, Bangkok, Thailand. Number four, Mexico City. Number three, cheapest place to move, Athens, Greece. Uh, number two, Denspar, Indonesia. And the wow, number one cheapest talking... place to live is Cape Town, South Africa. Okay. Monthly cost of living is about $1,400 for an individual or $2,600 for a whole family. Now, the most expensive place to live, where would you think, Heidi? I gave you some chance to. Oh, think geez. About this. I, I honestly, uh, we're talking worldwide. San so Francisco, I don't know. USA. Oh, yeah. geez. $6,000 for an individual, $8,800 for a that's, family. That's the so most expensive? The most expensive average place to live. I'm so. assuming Honolulu, Hawaii is on that list. It's not, I don't know. I don't have the whole list. Oh. I just had the one most expensive. All right, the list brought to you by BetterCreditCards.com. Do you owe the IRS $10,000 or more in back taxes? Are you being audited or investigated? Has the IRS sent you a letter demanding payment? You may not owe what they claim. Make this free call to the tax doctor now. Let them negotiate with the IRS on your behalf. 800-310-5831. 800-310-5831. That's 800-310-5831. 
Time now for the quote of the day. It comes your way, courtesy of insurancechicken.com. Our quote today is from Lucille Ball. Oh, Aww. I love her. I love Lucy. We all do. Here's her quote. The secret of staying young is to live honestly, eat slowly, and lie about your age. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that a great quote? Yes, it was last time you read it. I know. I, I knew it, I knew you were going to say that. I know I've read it before, but I just love it. I just love it so much. Quote of the day comes your way, courtesy of insurancechicken.com. John and Heidi. This portion of the John and Heidi Show is brought to you by the John and Heidi Show. That sounds kind of funny, but it's true. Go to your local radio station and ask them to start carrying the John and Heidi Show. Here's the best part. They can carry the show for free. They play a couple commercials, but it doesn't cost them anything every month. So if you know a radio station that could use a little bit of help, send them our way. Send them to johnandheidyshow.com. Again, johnandheidyshow.com. We would love to do a radio program in your community. Then you could listen to the podcast and listen to us on the radio. John and Heidi. We always like to wrap things up around here with good news, and I think this is good news. Comes your way courtesy of GenesisGoldIRA.com. All the way from Kansas City, Missouri. And this is one of these stories where I just go, Shaquille O'Neal seems like a neat dude. So here's the story. Okay. Mom was struggling to find shoes for her son. Shaquille O'Neal came to the rescue. How cool is this? Kansas City. He does this a lot. He does. He's just a neat dude. He does this kind of stuff. The Kansas City community rallied together to help this 16-year-old, Jorel Bolden, a towering teenager who wears a size 23 shoe. They were trying to help this kid find comfort and support. Story took on an unexpected turn when NBA, NBA, (laughs) I can't even talk over here, when (laughs) NBA legend Shaquille O'Neal stepped in to make a significant impact on Bolden's life. Bolden, standing six foot five. Uh, did I mention that he's 16? Jeez. Six foot five, 380 pounds, struggling to find a shoe for his unique size. Again, it's not a regular size, 23 Holy size shoe. How? So there were somebody that said, you know what, let's set up a GoFundMe and we'll do this. So they did this. They put together this thing and then it got shared and I got shared and I got shared. And they were looking for $1,500 for a single pair of shoes. That's what it would cost. The Kansas City community, by the way, poured in over $12,000 in donations Holy saying, hey, cow. let's help this kid. This is amazing. But then to their surprise, Shaquille O'Neal, a retired basketball player, expressed a desire to speak with this young man and contribute to his comfort. The NBA legend made a FaceTime call to Bolden, and less than a week later, three giant boxes arrived at his doorstep. The boxes had not only clothing that would fit him and other items from Shaquille O'Neal's personal collection, but most importantly, nearly 20 pairs of shoes in his unique size. Nice, he's going to need them long term. I mean, that's crazy. And and, uh, he said, this young man said, uh, I'm just in awe of everything right now and the help and the support that we're getting. So I think that is That's awesome. I could not imagine having to try to. Yeah. I mean, it's one thing to get one pair at that price and then just know, oh my gosh, in in less than a year, I'm going to have to come up with it again. Again, one more reason I say Shaquille O'Neal, pretty cool dude. So Shaq, let's chat. I'd love to have you on the show. (laughs) I have a hard time finding clothes for John, too. (laughs) (laughs) For a whole different reason. (laughs) Trying to find a place to tuck this double chin. Yeah. (laughs) Time to say goodbye, Heidi. Goodbye, Heidi. (laughs) Goodbye, everybody. Have a great day. Thanks for listening to The John and Heidi Show.